Cool. Right, let's do some coring, seeing as I suffered basically no war exhaustion during that fight. This is why I love the uh, war exhaustion reduction. That Nihil Novi, so good. So good. And yeah, I may as well grab all of my armies and then spread them out around the country again. One, two, three, four, five. Although one of them should really stay down here. You can stay there. And Kazan finally pieced out Muscovy. And owes me favours, apparently. Yeah, what happened to France? I'm not entirely sure what happened to France. They just imploded. It wasn't anything to do with me, it just happened. Will you stop costing me all of my stuff? And Novgorod's about to break their alliance with me. I'm okay with this, actually. The reformed convert. The world is seeing turbulent religious change. I'm on Shifting religious allegiance can be seen as a powerful trend. When August II turned to the reformed faith on ascending to the throne, many took note. If the king could convert, what is stopping the other and unenlightened from seeing the truth? Nothing, its supporters argue. The pressure on everyone, noble or commoner, has not yet fallen into line. It's now higher than ever. Cool. Are we still converting Moscow? Yes. But uh, we just gained a bunch more missionary strength, so that should go quicker now. See you, Marshal. In Brandenburg game, I'm deliberately giving up my claims over Prussia so I can form Prussia and have the Commonwealth be a massive power in the East. It's kind of what I'm doing with Brandenburg here. I'm using Brandenburg to offset the power of Germany. So, so long as I can keep them in my pocket, then I should be secure against Western Europe. So then I can keep my eyes very firmly to the west. Okay, Novgorod. You're allied with the Palatinate. That's not going to help you. Right, well, I think that the uh, Novgorod provinces could benefit from some uh, Commonwealth overlordship. Oversight, sorry. Not overlord. Oversight. Yeah, that minus 50% um, manpower uh, thingy is going to hurt. I guess it's an anti-snowballing mechanic because it's definitely going to do some damage to uh, my opportunities for growth. How's my force limit? Not amazing. Right, is there anything I can do to screw with the Ottomans? Yes, <laughs> yes there is. Let's slander their merchants. Gives my spies something to do. Truce with Castile has ended. Was that because they can't... No, I didn't have an alliance with Castile. Not in this game. Did covert actions. Minus 12. Wait, you caught me? My bad. I think I'm going to increase my trust with them. Which is already super high. Like, we have 91 trusts. They are very unlikely to break that alliance. 
Uh, military engineer, half price, half price. Or Kijau gets more defensiveness. Where is Kijau? Is that somewhere that I need to defend? Um, I mean, I do like this defensiveness thing because it lasts for the rest of the game. Where is Muscovy? Um, I don't know. Where is Muscovy? Considering Moscow is right there. Currently held by the enlightened Commonwealth Kingdom. What are we? Yeah, we're a kingdom. When can I become an empire? Oh, bloody hell, I'm only 21 development away from empire. Excellent. Am I still focusing military? I am. Oh, and I could get the military idea. Here we go. Let's get the last 5% discipline. Bish. Plus also the recover morale speed. And now we need to focus entirely on our admin. So I think I'm just going to undo you. And then we'll gain polit uh, monarch points everywhere else. Hmm. Mm hmm. Thanks for the reminder. Policies. So I can finally get the artillery combat. Let's do that. I do rate that one. Yearly tax and legitimacy. Not required. Leader siege and siege ability would be good though. Once I have innovativeness. I do really rate siege ability. Siege, leader siege, less so. But siege ability is amazing. But the plus 10 artillery is good. I rate combat ability more than discipline because rebels don't get combat ability. They only get discipline. So now all of my units fight better. Some more better than others. He says looking at the cavalry's 58%. Can I get some more Cossacks? I can. It would be really nice if there was a pop-up saying, Yo, Cossacks available. You should totally, like, get some. What's the brick colour three province guy in Kazan? Ryzan. You mean this one? Nintsi Novgorod. Hi, Fervor. Um, how's the stability looking? We've actually got positive revolt risk, so we'll invoke stability once again. And you are now fully Cossack. So all of the cavalry in this army will be hitting harder. And the other thing I need to do is start them drilling. And there we go. So we can keep that glorious professionalism high. Also, we can repay another loan. Debt free. Oh, we do have some rebels over there. Or spotted. I keep seeing these ones and thinking they're mine, but they're not. They're Danish. Yeah, we have quite a lot of revolt risk at the moment. Because of our very, very high overextension. And it is kind of high.
Oh, they have unlawful territory on Earth. So that's good. So when does um, recent uprising end? 1580. So five more years. Oh. Okay, so the support that I sent them doesn't actually count for anything. Oh, well. Because the support only lasts for five years. Aristocratic and espionage is the 20% cavalry, thanks. Price of fur has gone up even more. I'm looking at you, Novgorod. And I'm getting hungry. marriage of Sweden ended. Let's get another one then. Uh, if I had any guys I would. Let's stop with the Ottomans. I've already picked on them quite a lot. Meanwhile Denmark's having even more rebel problems. How are you not Blowing up with rebels, Ottomans. You had 20 war exhaust there. Yeah, 20 war exhaustion. I was going to say war enthusiasm. I was like, that's not right. And you are still only allied with the Palatinate. Alright, when's the truce end? That was the other thing I was going to check. Uh, 79. Three more years. And our truce is until 87. Yeah, I may have slightly picked on you. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, that's also an advisor cost. So my advisors will then be 35% cheaper. And thanks to my access to Cossack advisors, I can get 50% cheaper advisors in every category. My advisors are going to cost even less than Mameluke advisors, and those guys were cheap. 11 prestige from converting Moscow. Hell yeah. And a bunch of the cores are about to finish. Marvellous! Truce with France ended. When did I have a truce with France? Or when, did, when was I at war with France? This is not something I remember. You rose up in one of the few places not covered by a fort. That's really annoying. The mountains are in the way. Gotcha. Minus two, though, but my armies are ridiculous, so... Bye, rebels. It wasn't nice knowing you. Intrigues in Warsaw, a Ruthenian official... Veselvod... Menjikov's rise to high office has not been easy and has angered many of those closest to August the second. Pranchikus Pak, a member of one of the oldest Polish families in the country, has approached our monarch demanding we relieve Menshevod Menshikov of his position. So you're going to replace my level 3 half price diplomat guy for a level 2 military. That doesn't seem like a great trade-off. I thought I could do with promoting you. Actually, Cossacks. Recruit minister, here we go, he's half price. And he's even more morale. Because clearly that's what I need. Alright, now I'm starting to seriously lose money. Um, what's changed? Why am I losing money? 
What am I doing for trade? Have I even ever looked at that? Oh yeah, I'm collecting the Baltic, I knew that. Are there any achievements I plan on getting? No, because I'm not doing um, Iron, Iron Man. Quick question, because I've not seen the answer. It could be because I'm oblivious as the Ottomans crossing in Constantinople. Will I continue the Knights in Victoria? Yes, when I get around to converting it. And if the converters still work. I haven't seen a converter for Royal Britannia. Okay, so that's a bunch of the cores done. But yeah, I'm, I'm planning to. If, if I'm able to do it, I will. Yeah, this is just a fun run. Well, all of my games in this are fun runs. I, I don't generally care about achievements, if I'm being perfectly honest. But my ambition is to get a border with Ming. Overland. Hence, I've been focusing so heavily on Russia. Okay, we really are about to run out of money here. I could turn off some of the forts. Although we're actually under the fully maintained forts threshold. But that's probably just because they haven't been upgraded. Alright, let's turn them all off. Then I'll go through one at a time and re-enable like the borders. That's probably still not going to be enough, though. Nope. I mean, if I have to take a loan, I have to take a loan. I'd just rather not. Seeing as I just repaid all the sodding loans. I've already cored most of Muscovy's stuff. But then again, yes, he does have a lot of cores. I just feel weird feeding Muscovy, though. No, I'm not going to feed Muscovy. I know that's one way of expanding quickly, it's just not my chosen way of doing it. Okay, now I am seriously out of cash. I'm just not sure why. It's not devastation, none of the war was fought in my territory. Autonomy? Can't decrease it anywhere. Institutions are all pretty placated. I could beg you for some money, that's true. Ah, might actually be because you're upset with me.
see if this balances, otherwise I'll be taking out a loan. Nope, loan incoming. I was so bloody close! <laughs> Just get rid of all your troops and BAM! You make 45 ducats a month. I'd make 50 actually. Oh yeah, the previous king was an entrepreneur. That's part of the reason I'm not making as much. And this guy is greedy. God, you are rubbish. And who's the Polish heir? He is... Where is he? There he is. A 445! Oh, hello! Yes, I will spend some prestige on him. Downgrade the advisors temporarily. I'd, I'd really rather not. These are all half price. I'm okay running at a deficit for a while. I have economic ideas so I can afford a loan or three. Oh, and also, truce with you has ended, right? No. Two more years. <sighs> this bloody event comes up so often. I mean, I get it. My professionalism is 84% in 1577, which is bloody high. But still, annoying. Oh, Diplo is behind... That might be why. I don't have the plus 20% trade. Another conversion. Keep going. Yeah, now I'm making money. There we go. That's more like it. And that's an admin idea. We're still five years ahead. I can possibly get this. Why is my corruption so high? Overextension. And I can't afford to root out corruption. Mercenary maintenance goes down. I mean, the one that I really want is this one, but I'm not going to be able to get that before the new admin tech becomes available, I don't think. So we shall hold off. One more year till war with Muscovy. Uh, Novgorod. And then once I've taken that, that should help because those provinces are really quite valuable thanks to all the furs. Does Crimea go into my inland trade node? Yes, it does. Goes up into Kiev. In fact, most of it's already being pushed that way. And most of the money is being pushed from Kiev into Novgorod, which isn't what I want. I want Krakow to Novgorod. Uh, Krakow to Baltic. But actually, once I've seized control of the Novgorod node, then I'm okay with it going north. I might actually shift the uh, Krakow guy out. What I could really do is another merchant. Maybe I will need to go trade ideas. I mean, having um, caravans for all this inland stuff would be really quite helpful.
Popular religion. There's always been some discrepancy between the religion actually taught and defended by the clergy and the actual faith of the people in the provinces. Most of the time, the differences are small enough that the clergy chooses to ignore them instead of focus on to reinforce the more orthodox spiritual ideas of the people. So I can gain tolerance to true faith or missionary strength and piss off the church a fair bit. I'm going to do that. They'll get over it. The other thing which I think I'm going to do is I'm going to improve relations with the knights so that they stop raiding me because I think if we have over a hundred relations and they can't raid you. And they're already friendly. In fact, do I have a, religion, a relation slot? No. That's too bad. I'd love to be allied to the knights, just, just for the lols. And maybe help the knights become the Ottomans. I quite like this idea. Oh, it's May 79 already. I have no diplomats to send. Um, that's fine. Two stacks, 40,000. That's more than enough to deal with Novgorod. If Novgorod doesn't win this, I will be astonished. How have I got more naval morale than Novgorod? Seriously? Oh, Sweden and Brandenburg are no longer rivals. Oh, that's excellent. Yes. May this alliance between us last for a thousand years. Oh, they just got some reinforcements. Deeth's marching. I only lost one ship, it's fine. Here comes the Palatinate. Oh, actually, I should be taking that city as well, shouldn't I? I can't get there yet. Can't get to Deeth's Marching. Really? And how did they get to me? Oh, through Stade, probably, Bremen. But I have two forts down there. Are you going all the way through Sweden? Because that's hilarious if you are. Oh, I'm not at war with that guy. Ah. But I can pass through Sweden, so that's not really a problem. <laughs> 